Today we're going to learn about inserting page numbers, starting after your table of contents, and then updating your table of contents to reflect your new page numbers. We're going to start by scrolling down and clicking at the bottom of your table of contents. Click on Insert, Break, Section Break Continuous. Now scroll to the bottom of the next page. If you click, you will see that now it says Footer Section 2. Over in your toolbox, under Headers and Footers, unclick Link to Previous. Now insert your page number at the bottom of your screen. You will see that it starts at page 3. That's okay. We'll fix this in a moment. Click on page number format, start at zero. Now click OK. You will notice now that you have section one that's your cover and table of contents and section two that starts on page one. You can align your page numbers to the center, to the right, or to the left. For now, I'm going to put mine in the center. Now scroll up to your table of contents and you will notice that it still says page 3 for section 1. Click on your table of contents and click on the down arrow that says update table. Select update entire table and click OK. You will now see that the Section 1 page is now page 1. To double space your table of contents, highlight each row, go to Alignment and Spacing, and click Double. You now have a table of contents with the correct page numbers, and you have your first section that starts on page 1.